Hey everyone, I'm Josh Carter and this is Brew Diego TV. Now, if you're new to the San Diego craft beer community, then you might not have heard of Hess Brewing. You see, they've only been open for a couple months, but already Hess is one of San Diego's favorite breweries, which is really surprising considering their size. Let's go check it out. No, I swear, there really is a brewery right behind me. All right, so we're here with Mike Hess, proprietor and CBO of Hess Brewing. Mike, thanks so much for letting us come yeah. out here, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, glad you guys came out. Um, would you mind giving us a, a tour? No, not at all. Cool. Sure. Yeah, come on in. Here we are. So this is it. This is the whole brewery in one. The whole thing right here. And 900 square feet of brewery, tasting room, the whole show. Um, you know, I mean, uh, over here we've got grain storage. Okay. Um, the mill is back in the, tucked into the corner. Um, the ice machine, which we use as part of our cooling loop, that's a recent add. Um, and then, of course, this is the brew house here. I had the, uh, these four kettles uh, locally fabricated. And then uh, my brother Greg and I built the stand up at his shop up in the Bay Area. And then uh, he drove it down on a truck. And um, over here is the uh, fermentation room, which is actually two refrigerators. And uh, those hold the, uh, the conicals in there for all the fermentation. It's all temperature controlled, of course, and everything. And then uh, after fermentation, we put everything over in the cold room and keg it up and serve it. Yeah. And then folks come in, stand at the bar, and enjoy a tasty beverage. Um, so you're the CBO of Hesperin. What, what does that mean? Well, I... I needed a fancy title, <laughs> and uh, so um, I thought Chief Brewing Officer seemed like a fancy enough title, so I came up with that. That works. Yeah. That works, man. Yeah. Um, so you started brewing back in 95, you said, back right. in, when you were living in Philly. Right. Uh, what, over 15 years, what led you to opening up Hess Brewing? It, you know, like a lot of home brewers, it seemed like a, uh, a cool thing to do, mm -hmm. and a lot of them have had that dream of, wouldn't it be cool too? And... Um, and I always thought it would be cool, but um, also thought it was kind of uh, far-fetched to think that it would actually be a reality. And then um, one of my employees um, on my day job showed me an article about nano brewing, and it talked about essentially doing what we're doing here now. And I said, well, heck, I've already got a brewery. I'm already making a ton of beer, and it seems like it's pretty good. So it just kind of all mashed up, and I said, let's give it a whirl. So. Um, I, I entered into it though not thinking that um, it would get as big as it has gotten, as fast as it's gotten, and we're still not very big, but it's just bigger than I thought that it would be. First rule of Hess Brewing is that it has to be beer that I like. All right, of course. All right, um, and so uh, which is which is why I may never brew a Hefeweizen, but that's another story. <laughs> um, but uh, in any case, uh, so we have a, a Kolsch style beer, um, the uh, which we call Claritas. We've got um, Gracias, which is a um, kind of a Mexican amber uh, style beer, like a Negro Modelo or a Dos Equis Amber type of thing gotcha. um, uh, that we do a little bit differently because it's uh, typically it's a Vienna Lager, but we brew it as an ale. Oh, okay. And then we do. Um, uh, we do a big IPA, which is uh, originally when I wrote out the description for it, I said it was going to be a seven percenter, but it hasn't come in less than eight and a half percent since I started making it. So it's a big IPA, uh, Intrepidus, and then we do Amplis, which is a um, it's an eleven point three percent IPA. So wow. the style is probably in the double triple IPA range. We're calling that the San Diego Pale um, <laughs> in. Uh, in the homage to the fact that the style was born here in San Diego, yeah. and so 
Um, and we're trying to get people to adopt that name instead of calling them Imperial IPAs or Double IPAs. We're just going to call them San Diego Pales. Nice. And then we do um, Ex Umbris, which is a rye Imperial Stout that's about 9.8%. Well, Mike, before we take off, why don't you let the folks at home know um, where they can get Hess Brewing and when you guys are open and stuff like that. Sure. Yeah, uh, well, right now everything's sold here. Um, and uh, we're open Wednesday through Saturday for Tasting Room Hours. So Wednesdays from, uh, and Thursdays from 2 to 7, Fridays from 2 till 8. Okay. And then Saturdays from 1 to 5. But uh, we're also very accommodating. And so, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, because we're in business to make beer lovers happy. So awesome. um, uh, since the beginning, I've advertised that if you have five or more people and you want to come outside of those hours, uh, if you send us an email or give me a call, cool. we'll open up. So, and we've had a number of people who have taken us up on that over the, over the months. So. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Mike, thanks so much for You're letting welcome. us come out here, man. Yeah, that was great. Thanks. Thanks for coming out. Thank you guys so much for checking us out. Hope you enjoyed Hess Brewing. For more information on San Diego Craft Beer Scene and for more videos, make sure you check out our website, www.brudiego.com. See you guys next time.